Looks like we have them both in, so we're heading back into the game here. And this is going to be a best of three, so it's going to be interesting. We're going to, we're going to see a bit more out of this uh, right. in terms of counterpicking and picking. So Gives them a chance to see what worked, what didn't, and make some changes. All right, we've got Nice Guy and Kmart coming in. <clears throat> Kmart on the Kena, Nice Guy on the Cleef. And we're probably going to see... There's the Wind Kena ban and the Fire Cleef banned out. Fire Cleef evidently being a pretty dangerous uh, dangerous weapon on the Cleef side. Destroy, stuns. It does. It, uh, in the longer matches, Fire Cleef is definitely better. In those, in those more bruisery matches. Ophelia, take it first. Wusa, aerial response. Standard as per protocol. And Kina, Kmart here. Looking, looking to see if they maybe want to take another Paladin. Maybe some damage. And counter out the heavy sustain comp of Nice Guy. The protect the Nice Guy comp. Okay. I was thinking there'd be a Josephine to counter the Wusa a little bit with the amount of strips that Josephine can do. Josephine is taken away as well as the Fang. Nice guy, just really gonna shore up his protect the nice guy comp. That's his game plan. Everyone knows it. Now he decides to go a bit more damage with Laika. Does take Sir Neptune though. Amart would like to see some win units. I do like the Sharon though. The Sharon is good. Yeah, I think he's gonna have a hard time taking out the Sharon. Let's see if he can maybe pick up. There's a Delphoi. I do not mind the Delphoi here. I think that that's solid. Yeah, Delphoi providing a little bit of strips, immunity, uh, healing, a little bit of everything. And we're going to see how nice guy rounds out his draft here. Maybe looking for even more sustain to protect himself. And it is going to be a Soha. So it is going to be... Uh, heals and strips. Yep. And it's going to help out that Leica um, because heals up a little bit more for the warrior class, if I'm not mistaken. It does. You are correct. All right. Probably going to see an Ophelia ban. Probably going to see a Wusa ban, yeah. if I had to guess. Um, oh, we Ooh, uh, in, okay. Those. All right. Fang and Leica banning out the heavy bruisers on both sides. Nice guy is the danger though and you cannot ban out nice guy unfortunately not getting to see the delphoi in play delphoi banned out uh self ban on kmart's in and the soha banned out it's with the Leica gone all right so nice guy doesn't have a lot of damage outside of himself but as we know nice guy does bring the damage nice that guy sharon had a defense break damage. it's gone <laughs> nice guy is the damage and sharon is gone that's crazy just immediately deleted that Sharon. Nice guy and has been doing this all tournament. Just immediately deleting a unit. Yep, that beetle defense break evidently coming out and just ripping apart that Sharon. Really potent combo. I may have to build my uh, my own Sir Neptune at this point. Uh, Kmart does have both Paladins here, though, still alive. I just am not sure how they're going to get any damage in on no. any of Nice Guy's units. Double defense break out on the uh, two Paladins. It's going to affect Ophelia a little bit more as damage uh, scaling up defense or healing scaled up the defense. Got the full revive on the Kmart. Not we do forget revive, sometimes. But Sharon is going to probably immediately go down. She does have a again. defense break with the old. Yep. Yeah, immediately, immediately goes down. It's going to be quite a while until we get another revive. And in the meantime, nothing's really happening over on Kmart's side being able to take out anything a nice guy just no way to get any damage through on, nope. on this comp this is the protect the nice guy comp that also protects itself uh yeah, i don't know if Felia looking like it's gonna go down here soon yeah sharon was really only thing that kmart had to do any damage and evidently not built quite strong enough and also, no destroy on Kmart's side. Uh, wow. Okay, we do nice have guy. another revive. We are going to go for a Josephine ult, ult I believe. Um, and Sharon's down immediately again. We down. do have an ult, which is going to bring the Sharon back up again here in a second. Maybe looking for maybe looking for shields to go down. Yeah, I think he's waiting. 
It's waiting on something special. He is provoked. He is provoked, indeed. Okay, we do have that. Revive. I thought the revive... Oh, we haven't had the revive come in yet. Not yet, not yet. He's waiting. Yeah, just waiting on that revive cooldown. That's really all he's waiting for. The Paladins and, and along with Kmart's Kino are just keeping him alive. No Paladin, right. tough to get through. Another revive. We got the revive. We have a little bit of uh, sustain now with shields and defense breaks, so hopefully Sharon can stay alive a little bit longer. The ult comes out, lots of healing out of the Ophelia. Nice guy. There's a little HP. bit more damage. Yeah, a lot more damage now coming out onto Nice Guy with that Sharon now protected a little bit better, but they are focusing the Sharon. No defense break, but there is a provoke. Okay, we got the shields back up. Sharon is looking kind of okay right now. Ooh, defense There's breaks all around. There's the ult. That was the big one. Yeah. We got the defense breaks that came out of Sir Neptune hitting all four units over on Kmart's side. And that, honestly, I think is going to seal the deal. Look we at still those. have. Debuffs. Yeah, so many. Sir Neptune really shining this match as the MVP, in my opinion. We do have another ultimate on Dark Kina. Dark Kina, really, only thing they can do is ultimate. And right before the ultimate can go off. That's it. That's it. All right, match one. Match one going to Nice Guy. This is a best of three. It is not over yet. Kmart maybe can adjust their strategy here. Coming with a little bit more damage. Be able to try and take one off nice guy. Any thoughts on what Kmart's going to have to do? Just uh, more yeah, he's going to have to bring more damage in some fashion. A nice guy or or a kill the summoner cop. Just go full kill the summoner cop and try to take out nice guy. Even though nice guy's entire comp is built around protecting himself. Um, but I can't imagine nice guy is super tanky with that much damage. Right, for sure. I can't, I can't imagine he exceeds 60k HP. So. so the way this works is the loser of the last match is going to get to pick first. So he's going to pick out the Wusa immediately. All right. Stealing away the Ophelia and the Ariel here. A solid set of composition there. We do have the Josephine on the left. Maybe he'll take the Anavel as well with the Josephine. Nope, takes the Fang. I think nice Fang's guy. a strong, strong pick. Fang is strong. Nice guy is going to get a good chunk of his mind tape. Takes the Sir Acteon so that it doesn't get taken by Kmart. It's also just a overall good pick. And there takes the Annabelle as well. I'm not sure how Kmart is going to get through this just yet. Sharon is back on the field. Right now, the only defense breaks would be out of the Annavel. Shushu, hey, we get up with that's, go that's your boy. <laughs> oh, you can't, cannot take that, sir. And the Tiana. Hey, wait, is Shushu allowed? It's LD. Well, I think they said no LD fives. Okay, I, think we can uh, I wasn't make sure for four stars. Oh, that's true because Lauren was in. Lauren was in earlier. True. So, that's that's fine. The immediate ban on the Tiana. Interesting. Okay. He's very strong. It, it is strong, but does it really help nice guys protect the nice guy cop? True. That is what he's been doing. Uh, I, I'm... Oh, uh, Banna out the Musa. I'm not sure about that. I think Shushu might have been. Well, Shushu can output healing a bit faster than Musa. We'll have yeah, to see. Yeah, mana cost, yeah. And the immunity as well, so... <laughs> As we know, immunity is extremely strong. And again, that Sharon just going immediately. down immediately. Just, just immediately. That, that is what that is nice guy's strategy. That is what he's gonna do to you. He's just gonna kill one of your monsters off rip. Yep. Kmart's gonna have to switch over to Dark Stuff here soon if he's looking to do any sort of meaningful damage. But as we know, that just was a long drawn out process last game. Uh, no real damage coming out of Kmart right now. Nice guy just sitting pretty, protect the nice guy's strategy. Shushu keeping everybody alive. The healing. Counter attacks going off from the Josephine. More immunity. I just I just don't think the Shushu was it. Yeah. And I think this is about wrapped up here. Josephine is down. Yep. 
Shoe shoe's nice, but I think when we're up against the top like nice guy, it's just unfortunate. It's, it's a four star with four star stats, and it's it's just it's too difficult uh, to make it to really utilize it. You can maybe work at the lower levels of Brawl Arena, but not when everybody's maxed uh, out. Yeah. Sharon is back. Kina is on Dark Staff. I'm not sure how you'd pull this off. You'd have nope. to somehow get an ult with the Sharon and kill, kill Nice Guy. But it's uh, just too much to eat through. And uh, Nice Guy's going to be building up ults in the meantime, and he'll eventually take out the Shushu. I mean, Shushu is definitely showing promise. Like he's he's sitting there still alive. He's not dead. He's not but dead he's yet. Not, but he's not killing anything. That, I don't think either Kmart or Shushu is going to be killing anything. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> so this is all this is all just delaying action. Shushu's going to go down, and that's Shushu's that's going to be that's going to wrap it. Right. Yep. Kmart doing the community hop around the arena. All right. So that best of three goes to nice guy nice guy looking to be shooting for that top spot in this tournament for nice sure nice guy our first finalist versus soletta and here we were thinking cleef wouldn't do very well and it may very well be a cleef v cleef final You know, about a month ago, we would have expected a Cleef v. Cleef final. We thought the Soletta would be doing a little bit better, but this might be FNS's chance to show the uh, the Soletta power. The power of Soletta and Ophelia first pick, of course. All right, Senguin is going to respond with an Annabelle Wusa. Another Annabelle first pick on their side. FNS taking away the aerial. Probably going to be looking to take away even more sustain. Maybe maybe the Josephine here. That does take a Delphoi. Sanguin taking the Praha. The Praha came in in clutch in his last matchup, sleeping those two sustain units out. And rounds it out with a Soha. FNS taking a Shushu and a Tiana. Interesting. We've got a full water team on Sanguine's side. Josephine rounding up the draft here. Uh, it's looking like an Ophelia ban over there and uh, Wusa or Praha ban Sanguine's side. Uh, at least that's the way I would go. Uh, we'll have to see if FNS agrees. FNS does not. Takes out the Josephine. The Ophelia, of course, banned out. Looks like that means we're going to see some Tiana play. Ah, uh, well, we may see some Tiana here. Would be her first matchup in this out tournament. The over on the right side, knowing the Tiana's coming. We do see the Tiana. All right, we got shield runes over on FNS's side. Shield runes are getting buffed at some point here soon. All right, we got some provokes out on Tiana and on FNS. Looks like uh, Sanguine sitting pretty over there with his full water healing comp. We do have two sleeps, one on Tiana, one on Ariel. Ariel, a hard one to sleep for sure, with generally built on pretty high resistance. It did get uh, off. We have another sleep now on the, the Ariel. That is two sleeps in a row. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> we are on Dark Saletta at the moment. Dark Saletta putting out some Oblivions. Nice. I mean, Sanguine uh, hurting over there. Summon are hurting. We went down about 30%, back up to 100. Rooted. He is rooted at the moment. Got that cleansed off. There is full defense breaks over on FNS's side. FNS taking a lot of damage there. Ariel did cleanse off those defense breaks. Tiana about to bring up an ult. Here it is. Pretty yeah, massive ult. Doing a lot of damage over on the right side of Sanguine there, uh, but not quite enough to destroy anything. Does not pick up a kill. Really needed a kill there. Uh, Sanguine is going to have their ult now. Maybe take out that Tiana. Be looking for an Annabelle defense break first before they go into it. Indeed, it's got to be. Got to be a defense break. There it is. We got there two defense is. breaks. Is it enough to take out the Tiana? Uh, very close. Tiana is, is down. Tiana's oh, down, but also so have is. So the is Soha. Soha is down. The Praha is very close to dying as well. The Praha evidently getting that invincibility from the Cleef skill three. 
Praha just attempting to sleep some stuff. Doesn't look like it slept anything. Defense break on the aerial. There. That was unfortunate. Fortunately timed. Trying to go for some strips with the Praha, but immunity right back up from Shushu again. He's just Annabelle's gonna sit down. on that Shushu. Yep. Wow. This turned around a little bit. I really thought it was gonna go the way of Sanguine. It's back and back and forth, but Soletta showing the power of Soletta. And Shushu. And, and Shushu. Shushu. Coming clutch. Shushu indeed. That immunity, constant immunity. It's preventing the sleeps, that four mana immunity. It really came That's in in clutch. Sanguine holding out for dear life. Maybe if it was nice guy. Maybe if it was nice guy, he could uh, solo this with Cleef alone. I, I don't think it's going to happen. We're in cleanup <laughs> mode here. Uh, just waiting for that endure to wear off. And then FNS will be cleaning this one up. And we'll be going into match number two. Sanguine thinking about how he's going to change up his draft here. FNS putting out a ton of damage. On that Saletta. Saletta, absolutely insane amount of damage. All right, we're going to be back here into the draft. Fireclave band out again. Light Saletta band out. Letting the dark Saletta through. That could be rough. Kingman does get light Cleef weapon. Ophelia first pick. Annabelle Wusa almost certainly coming. From Sanguine, and it does. Pretty popular for Cleef right now. Sanguine likely, likely going to take the aerial and something else here. There it is. FNS with the aerial. Uh, Shushu a little early, though. Uh, no Praha on the board yet. Sanguine cannot can avoid taking the Praha here, and potentially change this up. Atanai on the field again. Atanai on the field, and this Ooh. guy. Uh, Shimate. Shimate, who is not very good. None of them are very good, in my opinion. I hope you yeah, Eridos, proves... though, that you got his OP, isn't it? Eridos is a giant pile of trash, and uh, <laughs> he is where he belongs in my storage. Uh, Sanguine, hope maybe he'll prove me wrong. Maybe, uh, maybe Shimate OP. Fang and Delphoi rounding out FNS's draft here. And the Praha at the end into the Shushu. That's interesting. Uh, certainly signaling you're going to ban the Shushu then. All right. We're going to have to see some some unique Shimite tech here. It looks like we got some strips going to be coming out of Shimite. And some big damage. Will it be enough, though? Does not ban out the Shushu. Well, then Sanguine is going to be banning out their own Praha. I believe. Um, and we're going to be seeing the Anavel Wusa Atenai. Does not do it. Uh, Shushu on the board, completely countering out the Braha as long as it gets the immunity up. And this is going to be a rough one for Singuin. For sure. Yeah, he's got that sort of Conda meta going on with just complete protecting Sanguin. But is it going to be enough damage with the Shushu on the board? Lots of freezes coming out right now. Interesting. That's coming out of the Praha. Double sleep, one onto Ariel, one onto Shushu. Extremely big sleeps. Now it looks like we're just focusing on the Fang Yang. Unrecoverable on almost everybody there. Who's he gonna focus? Shushu able to, uh, able to get up that immunity though. Looks Only like Ariel. Antonai is getting that invincibility right now from the Cleef. So if they try to focus her, it's gonna be tough. It's definitely a brawly match right now, so we're gonna have to kind of see how this goes. We are getting pretty close sometimes with the uh, with the aerial over there on the left hand side. Doesn't look like anybody's trying to go for the summoners at the moment. We do have an ultimate over on FNS's side. Let's see what he does with it. The Braha is very low. Braha is very low. Not enough. Not, Not quite enough. enough. And healed back up, looking like we're very close. Sanguine gonna get an ult. Is he gonna stick with the Wusa for the ult? Switching over to the Antonine, perhaps for the ult. We will see. Yes, and tonight, oh. But everything has immunity, so nothing lands. But everybody's sitting pretty right now. Very little destroy coming out from either side. Fang Yang providing a little bit of destroy. FNS's Ariel. side looking a little weak right now. Ariel looking low, ticking down. 
FNS just sitting in the back with their Saleta, just, you know, popping away with some damage. Just not quite enough, though. Looks Everybody's like there might be a focus on Wusa right now. Some poison over on Wusa. Working towards ult, trying to get one of these monsters sniped out. A lot of sustain on both sides. Not a lot of destroy coming out. And yeah, there's just the ult. Okay. Just keeping them alive. But the problem with just keeping Sanguine alive is there's no destroy over on FNS's side. They're just all full health. Very healthy. Ult it looks like they are focusing on nothing. Shushu right now. Focusing on Shushu. Shushu's 30% health. Can they finish and off the Shushu? Blocked. There he'll is an blocked. ult. There is an ult coming out, and That's the Shushu it. is down. I think we made a, uh, a correction, uh, a course change somewhere in the middle of that fight. They're going, you know what? That Shushu has four-star stats. We need to go for that. Kill the four-star, win the game. And uh, it's going to be tough for FNS to come back from this. Senguin turning it around with the Atenai. Good adjustment, yep. changing up the draft. Uh, FNS on the back foot here. Getting the match stuff totally over, but I don't foresee them being able to get through. Uh, Antonite, though, not looking super healthy. I know, she's very weak right now. Less than 30%, well, almost 20%. Looks like we do have invincibility, though, from the Cleave. They have an ult. Switching over to Fang Yang for the ult. FNS is Saleta so, looking very weak. Saleta down. Saleta down and then revived due to the passive. Let's see if they can stay alive, though. She's going to have to sit on Ariel to heal herself up. We are at 1 minute and 40 seconds left, so the healing is going to be pretty drastically reduced at this point. We are getting a little bit of healing on the FNS. Sanguine building up to an ult. He's got the ult. Targets. Big stuns onto everything right now, except the Saleta. Is that enough Saleta. of a window? Nope. Saleta really wanted to tunnel that Saleta there, but just didn't quite get the stun on it. The Saleta using her defense break skill while there is immunity up is unfortunate. That is what we call interesting. Looks like Fang Yang is very close to being downed. Fang Yang about to go down here. Senyuan in the driver's seat now at this point. Going to be able to whittle down the units one by one. And FNS. Thinking about their next draft. This is going to be for game point. Going to the finals. Senyuan just on cleanup duty at this point. That aerial will go down here in a little bit. Kill blocked from the Atenai. And frozen. That should be enough of a window for F for uh, Sanguine to kill off the aerial. Aerial, as we know, though, lots of defense. Without a defense break, it can be really tough. Uh, Atenai's down. Huh? Still don't think it's going to be enough. We're at 23 seconds left. That aerial is outputting absolutely no healing at this point. Yeah, but uh, everyone's dead, and Wusa's dead, and FNS oh. takes it. Wow. What a switch right at the end. That happened in about a span of five seconds. Everything changed. Like everything changed within like five or ten seconds. That just Senua waiting on that healing reduction really is was, what they're doing. Was in the driver's seat, but couldn't quite clean up the Saleta, and the Saleta came in and clean swept everything right at the end there. Wow. We're gonna have to that, watch a replay on that later, because that I was need nutty. An instant replay. Well, Jeff, Jeff in production is not Jeff, quite that we, good yet. We can't we can't get that, Jeff? Jeff? Really? All right. Jeff kind of sucks, man. What, what are we paying you for? <laughs> oh, we're paying Jeff? Maybe that's why. Unbelievable. All right, we're in our finals now. We are in the finals match. We're going right into it. This is going to be a best of five. So here we go. Kena versus Cleef. The classic. Fire third Cleef. match. Third place match is what we're doing right now. Oh, we're doing third place. All right, never mind. Yeah, I was, I was like, wait, wait a second. What's happening? Sanguine, where are I'm we? <laughs> I, I'm tired. <laughs> Jeff derped. Jeff derped. It's Jeff's fault. I blame Jeff. We all all right. Third place match, Ophelia, Wusa, Sharon. Coming out. Kmart going to take the Fang and the Seraction. We see an Atenai coming out of Sanguine. Is this going to be a best of one or best of three? Uh, that's a good question. Jeff's going to have to let us know what this one's going to be. Jeff, Jeff can let me know or let us know if this is just a one-off or if this is a best of three. Uh, Singuin does take the Annabelle. Antonia has really been an interesting pick that's gone through a couple times now. 
I like the heal block. The heal block is nice when uh, the opponent doesn't have any real immunity on their side. Uh, just just some cleanses. Uh, and Jeff is Kmart letting us know it'll be best of three. It will be best of three. Understood. All right. So Kmart is going to take the Ariel and the Josephine here. And Fire Mermaid. First time. First time seeing the Fire Mermaid today. Double, double heal blocks coming out. Seeing you inside. Probably gonna ban out the Ariel or the Ophelia here. There's the Ophelia ban, and the Anvil's banned out. Singuin side. Singuin doesn't need both Fire Mermaid and Atenai. Probably gonna ban one of those out. And on Kmart's side, probably looking at the Josephine banned out. Could also ban out the Seracteon, but. Decides to ban out the aerial. Interesting. So really not, not sure. a lot of sustain over on Kmart's side. Not sure I agree with that. All right, let's get into this uh, third place match. Best of three. Kmart already hitting a lot of damage uh, over there on Kmart's Kino. We got a heal block and a unrecoverable debuff over on Kmart's side. I would imagine they're going for Sanguine's Sharon over there on the right side, but there is immunity and shields up on everybody. So it's going to be really tough to uh, break through that. Be another slug fest. Um, and if the game is killed a summoner, Sharon is the queen of it. Alright. Kina doing the old runaround. Best Orbia impression. Looks like Jeff has decided that he's taking a break and playing some Baldur's Gate. We love Baldur's Gate. <laughs> All right, we're still just kind of sitting pretty on everybody's uh, on either side here. A little Best bit of damage on. Both. Yep, Sanguine's at seventy percent. Kina though got a lot of debuffs on her. Undead. Uh, got the undead. That's the, she's the only heal, so no way, no real way to cleanse that off right now. Okay, oh, we did. We got it. We got it. Excellent. Okay, so Kmart is back alive and ready to go. We do have an ult from Sanguine. Not sure what he's gonna do with it. Mermaid ult. I'm gonna be honest. Best I don't even know what Kina that does. Oh. Goes for it. He does go for it. That's three stacks of defense break. Can we finish off the Kino? We have a shield on at the moment. Absolutely. The unrecoverable is on, so he is holding on to that heal until we can get that unrecoverable off. Kina is running for dear life. Waiting for that unrecoverable to get off so they can... Oh, we got an invincibility up. Josephine ticking down, though. Yeah, Sanguine looking pretty healthy over on the right-hand side. Kmart somehow still alive. You're still alive. Undead and unrecoverable still on. That's so, it. Uh, that's it. Kmart goes down. The healing is down. Uh, Sanguin in the driver's seat here in this first match. Best of three for third yep. place. Indeed. Yeah, that mermaid pick was strong. Unrecoverable, extremely nasty debuff. Just perma putting that on to Kmart without any immunity or any real way to cleanse that off. For sure. Sanguine and Fang Yang. Gonna Damage see dealt. The next match here, match number two. Uh, Kmart's gonna have to adjust. Maybe, maybe bring a little bit more immunity. Uh, as we call them in Summoner's War, sometimes you gotta double wrap. Double wrap your condoms. Make sure you're bringing. There's the Ophelia. Of course. Sanguine's gonna go. Wusa, Sharon. Same exact last picks. We're gonna go. Same exact class picks again. Another Fang and Sir Action. Atenai. Annabelle. This is almost the exact same draft. I'm not sure what Kmart's thinking here. It's going to somehow be different if you take the exact same monsters. We're going to probably change it up here in the fourth and fifth picks. Maybe do a little bit more sustain this time. Okay. It's going to need some immunity. There is the Delphoi for immunity and the Shushu, there so double immunity. Go. So I don't know if the Fire Mermaid is going to be the pick on the right-hand side with the guaranteed uh, immunity. Probably not. Ooh. I just so ban bait, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure about that twin there. Uh, Singuin is going to be looking probably to ban out their own twin. Uh, Kmart, yeah. You, you can ban out one of those immunities. Sticks with the shoe shoe. The four mana cost too good. Uh, Singuin does not ban out his own twin. This is going to be interesting. 
All right, we do have some uh, definite stuns going to be coming out of the, uh, what is it, Maruna, right? It is Maruna. Uh, the stun is not guaranteed if it's not with the twin. So I'm very go. curious draft. Um, Kmart's side is really taking a lot of damage right now. The Heal Action blocked. is, oh my goodness, both of those wind monsters are almost dead. Heal blocked completely. Is the heal block coming from the Maruna? I'm forgetting at the moment. Um, it may have heal block on its skill too. Uh, At I we sure know that's heal block. Know. Oh, that's right. Antoni does have the heal block as well. Heal wow, damage. this was the wow the Maruna pick. That's kind of crazy. Took the Maruna just for the damage itself, not not for any other thing other than the damage and potentially heal blocks. I'm not entirely sure if uh, she has heal block on her S2, but. Um, Played up pretty well. We do have Dark Kina though. <coughs> yeah, we do have some revives coming out here. We do have a big ultimate, a big revive. Some reflects being put up. Unrecoverable back on the Acteon. Can't really cleanse that off with the Shushu unless we have the immunity up already. We're getting some decent damage over on Sanguine's side. Sanguine's got a defense break on his summoner right now. Invincibility pop though, so he's gonna stay a little bit longer with us. Shushu just gonna keep himself and Kmart alive for a little while, but Kmart's taking a lot of damage. Wow, that was an That's ultimate. It. All right, well, we've got Sanguine taking third place. Clean sweep 2-0. We did get confirmation from chat that we do have a S2 heal block, three mana from Maruna. That is that is what <laughs> I thought. That is from Sky Arena as well. Uh, Martina has the same skill, so just the passive is different. Indeed. All right, let's switch over to the brackets. I think we might be doing a little bit of change up on the... Uh, on the amount that we're doing here. Uh, we might be just doing best of three, I do believe. So we have Nice Guy versus FNS. All right, best of three for the final. FNS, Nice Guy. Soletta versus Cleef. All right, Will we protect the Nice Guy comp prevail or Soletta's damage outdo protecting the Nice Guy? We're gonna find out right now. We're into weapon bans. Probably going to see a Fire Cleaf ban and a Light Soletta ban. So Soletta's going to take that dark weapon, cooldown reduction. Ophelia first picked once again. Wusa, aerial response. Juno Josephine may be coming out here, and there it is from FNS. Probably going to see more protection. Nice guy loves to really stack protection. Well, if you look at that summoner stats, you can probably imagine why. And you don't need any other damage. <laughs> Does come out with the Sir Captoon. He's been a clutch unit for him this entire tournament. And the Annabelle. Ooh, and we get Wind Twins. Wind Twins. Zenobia mm -hmm. and Melissa. Zenobia with the Oblivion and Melissa with the Block Beneficial. What is it? Block Harmful Effect Removal? Yeah, those are the two big ones out of them. Yep, that is correct. We may be seeing a pair of twins coming out here. Probably a Josephine ban. Self-ban on FNS's side. It's going to be a lot of damage coming out of FNS, but it's one of those things where if Nice Guy can just last long enough... If he I know just I'm not... survives, if he just survives the initial burst, it's going to be tough for FNS to get through. All right, let's see if there is enough damage out of these two twins. It looks like we do have defense break on the Melissa. The Zenobia, though, getting hard focused. Oh, big heal from Juno. Juno's going to have to be sat on in order to continue to cleanse off. Melissa going down quickly with those defense breaks. We got full defense breaks from that Annabelle. If those defense breaks go away, FNS is looking a little healthier. Juno's going to have to heal up here once again in just a second in order to keep everybody alive. I'm pretty sure that the Zenobia was outside of that heal from Juno and unfortunately went down because of it. So all we have left is Melissa and Juno versus the entirely water comp and Light Cleave. And uh, that is pre yep. pretty much it. FNS was forced to sit on the Juno that entire time, was not able to use the twins, utilize damage or tunnel anyone. Um, we, we do Sir have Neptune a Sir Neptune is down, down but it's just not going to be enough. Uh, not likely to be enough. Um, FNS. Well, the, Ariel got pretty close there, about 30%. But FNS has switched over to the Wind Bow. 
He does have a blind on currently. We do have a heal from the Juno. Juno and a summoner is a dream for sure, and we, we might see something. It's something. Uh, it's, it certainly is something. I don't know if it'll be a winning strategy, but it is something. All right, we have an ult coming from Nice Guy and a defense break. Healed up by the Juno. I'm telling you, Juno and Summoner is a dream, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Is he going to continue to focus the Summoner, or is Nice Guy going to focus on the Juno? I, I think FNS, if they're going <coughs> to win this, need to take out these Annabelle here. Get rid of these defense breaks. If you're actually trying to win, uh, need to start tunneling that Annabelle. Looks like Nice Guy is over on the water, trying to lay in a little bit more damage, perhaps even uh, freeze the Juno. Did have a big ult come out from FNS. It wasn't enough to clean up the Annabelle. Annabelle is slept at the moment, and she got woken up immediately. Immediately cleansed, Ariel. It's not uh, totally over. If, if, uh, FNS can build up to an ult here and keep this yeah. Juno alive, maybe. Definitely going to start feeling the effects of the heal reduction here in a second. That Juno is extremely low. That Juno is dead, and That's that is going to be it for FNS. That's, That's, it. It. That's it. Just not not quite enough damage. Couldn't had to sit on that Juno that whole time, not able to really utilize the twin skills uh, the way you want with damage. Nice guy, just putting out too much damage, not able to get through that. So FNS went for the full kind of attack comp with the Melissa. Um, what do you think he's gonna do this time? Change it up? Or do something I, I, think he, I think he's gotta go. He's gotta match. He's gotta go protect the FNS. Yep. Nice guy. Take nice guy's strategy. Start taking his units. Take 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 the Sir Neptune if you've got it. Ophelia is obviously the first pick, and then this is gonna be responded with Wusa and Ariel, and then we need to start. Eating into Nice Guy's box. I think that's the best way you're going to beat him. There's the Annabelle. There you go. Start eating eating into his box. Takes a Praha. Nice Guy, probably going to go Ethna. Well, uh, Sir Neptune, I think, will be coming out here. Does not come out. Goes nice Guy doing damage. something different. All right, something different. The Kumar, really strong. Uh, ooh. Kumar Chandra. Chandra. Interesting. Chandra is definitely a summoner protection, so I, I definitely see the, the two Beast Monks and why they were picked here, especially when you saw the Ethna and the Tessa come out. For sure, and the Juno last pick, pretty solid. No Not Josephine nice on the board, so. No Josephine, so Juno is usable. Does he ban out the Wusa? Or nope, he bans out the Tessa. I figured. No, no, I would I would definitely keep that Wusa around. We've got Praha on the field, we've got Kumar on the field. Indeed. If you can get that immunity off, uh, it could be all right. All right, Ethna going straight in for the summoner here. Looks like Ethna is not so lane. She's kind of derping a little bit there on that AR. Okay, Ethna so linked now, and we got cleansed off by the Chandra. Ethna is rooted at the moment. We got the sleep off, so... There's the a Usa, lot of sleeps happening right now. Wusa wasn't able to get the immunity up in time. Pretty big. Ethna is down. The main threat off a of nice guy is down. Now, that Kumar does have a lot of defense breaks, and that Kumar is going down. So we have one for one at the moment between FNS and nice guy. Raha's going to want to look to get that sleep off again and then maybe whittle down. We've got two Juno. sleeps off right now, Juno oh. and Nice Guy. Both slept. The Praha definitely doing work in this match right now. And the Wusa is dead. There it is. I, I think this is in FNS's favor now. Uh, it's Juno and Nice Guy, though. Nice Guy is the danger. Let us not forget. Indeed. Juno is slept, though. Slept once again. That is a massive amount of sleeps coming out of that Praha into the Juno. Yep. We need to look nice at that resistance. Guy playing next to the Juno to try and get some AoE damage, potentially, to wake up his own Juno. <laughs> and he was able to achieve that. The Juno is up. We do have an ultimate. I think he's going to, yep, complete cleanse on the summoner. Juno Praha is slept again. immediately countered that. Nice guy. Once again, you guys at home can see some of the strats here. Nice guy trying to stick around his Juno to wake them up, get some AoE damage from the, uh, from the enemy to wake up that Juno. So without Juno... All right, we are back and cleansed up again. Juno is up. Switching back over 
It doesn't Raha look like we have a sleep. sleep. Raha missed the sleep there, but goes again, gets it. Yep, Juno slept once again. As you can see, sleep extremely strong. Oh, we've got the defense break on the Juno. He may want to switch targets here and just kill out the Juno now. Full sleeps again. And we have Juno slept once again with a defense break. I think this is the end for the Juno. We're at 17%. Juno's gonna get it. Just, just gonna get the heal. Yep, just off, is. just barely. We're gonna have another one here with seven mana. Nice guy, down to his last few bars of HP. Do have the endure proc. We do have a strip from Praha, so maybe that's enough to strip that off. Praha ten turns slept though. Oof, five. Down to five. We do have Juno slept as well. Juno Speaking not gonna be away. able to make it out of the sleep. Finishing off this Juno. There it is. There it is. The Juno is down. Nice guy, gonna get shot from across the map. That's it. FNS coming out with the Chandra Kumar. Kumar going down pretty early, though. So this was really Praha stealing the show in this match. All right, we're 1-1. One, one. We're, we're getting what we want. And now the Got final some. match, final point, final day, game of the day. Here we go. This is what we've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. Nice guy, FNS. Who will win? FNS adjusting their strategy, taking out nice guys protect the nice guy comp going into his box taking his units uh fns is gonna have to repeat that on this one a nice guy gonna get the ophelia this time though fns respond with the aerial wusa almost certainly and does some big picks uh, from nice guy that he normally takes so fns just taking them away nice guy gonna probably pick up the annabelle and the okay it does take the ethna this time fns does if they have a Sir Neptune built, could take it. Otherwise, they may want to consider Josephine Juno. Let's take the Sharon here. Running out of time. Going to be auto-picked. Uh, Praha. <coughs> Diana. Diana okay. coming in. And, and the Kumar. Kumar. We do like nice, Kumar, but nice guy, nice guys. Uh, if you get him thrown off his game, he he does seem to respond very differently. Shushu taken last. Ariel and Tiana banned out. Not sure about the Tiana ban. It's not the worst ban. Uh, I do feel that that Annabelle with those defense breaks uh, could be rough. Definitely but the Kraha. The Praha does get through here, so sleeps could be coming. Well, that worked extremely well for him last time, so we're going to have to see what Nice Guy's going to have to do about that Praha. Uh, wow, we got some FNS defense breaks on there right now. Oblivion, can she stay alive? The Ethna doing some work. Full sleeps on all the monsters. Nice Guy, the only one alive. He's going to have to go stand next to one of his monsters in order to wake him up. Looks like we got everybody woken up at this point. The Ethna is currently soling, trying to... Oh, FNS was so close to dying there. We did get a little Shushu heal. But without Shushu immunity right now, the Ethna is really going to tear him apart. Ethna is just absolutely chasing. Again. Okay, we do have a root on the nice guy. It is cleansed off immediately <coughs> by the Annabelle. This is looking really scary for FNS, coming really close to the line every single time. It's good. This could go either way. This could go either way, especially if this Ethna goes down. If, do uh, have FNS defense breaks? Ethna might be going down here. We do have an invincibility. invincibility. Yep. And with no real reliable strips over on FNS's side, that's not coming They're off. Both about to get an ult as well. All right. Here oh, comes okay. the ult. That is the Ethna that's ult. It. That's and it. And we do have a revive, though. And we do have an ult coming out. Are we, who are we switching to for the we ult? Immediate ult. Can they take out this Ethna here with this ult? Nope. Does not does not get the damage. I'm not sure if they switched over to one of their five stars for the ult or not. I'm pretty sure Shushu was on Soul Link at that time. Yeah, but I, I'm, I think it just missed. It just missed on... I think Invincibility got up from Nice Guy and just prevented the damage from the ult. I'm slow, but the Ethna goes down. The Ethna's the Ethna down here. Go down. Uh, that is a hard it, one to defeat with a full that, water monster comp. That is what FNS needed. FNS needed to take out this Ethna here. This is going to be a tough match. Nice Guy can climb out of this, especially once the heals start ticking down. Uh, Praha, though. Praha... Potentially is going to start sleeping out people, and, and uh, FNS is going to pick them off one by one. I think Nice Guy is letting chat know that he is uh, possibly conceding this here very soon. He sees the end is near. 
the end, I believe, has come. It's uh, that Ethna down, and it's just gonna be it's just gonna be too much to chew through in time. Ophelia about to go down. Ophelia hanging on for dear life. Nice guy hanging on for dear life. He's yeah. just about to get an ult, though. I don't know. He's, it may not be quite time to quit. If he gets a window here with in between the Wusa and Shushu immunity, gets a defense break, he could pick up kills. Yeah, he keeps switching to the Annabelle, trying to get a defense break off, but immunity is just still up. There's two immunity monsters on FNS's side. He just cannot get a defense break in. So he goes for the ult. Full defense breaks over there. Rooted. Is it enough? Oh, oh, yeah, oh. Is. FNS is down. It's It's enough. <laughs> It is enough. Wow. What nice guy just waiting for that opportunity with full defense breaks going in for the clutch ultimate right at the end. What an incredible match. Leaf reign supreme. We're not out of it. We're not irrelevant yet, guys. We did it. Cleef's the Cleef game is still here. Cleef Giga Chad. FNS wow. Saleta, though, really putting up a fight. I was worried there. Honestly, we, we were kind of counting nice guy out. That could that could have gone either way, and, and FNS really was in the driver's seat there for a while. Uh, really solid, really yeah. really well, good drafts, solid play, building up to their alts. Uh, good good matches, good matches here for the finals. Indeed, guys. Hey, this was a lot of fun. This was kind of the first time that we over here in North America are trying to put something together for you guys, some some W content uh, for some of our top players that we really want to showcase that. So um, thank you guys for joining. Let's switch back over so we can. Uh, uh, Topher, I'm going to I'm going to yeah. ask you MVP pick. Who is it for you? Your your MVP monster of this. Of this so, tournament. I mean, if we just go by pick rates, obviously Ophelia is there. Ophelia is being first picked almost every single time, and it's pretty incredible. Um, Towards the end, though, I think the Praha really was starting to steal the show there at the end. Praha is up there. I, I've got I've got to give it to Wusa. Wusa is yeah. the clutch pick of this tournament. Uh, Annabelle coming in great was probably much better than I anticipated. But I, I think Wusa, Wusa would be my MVP pick. I, I Yeah, I would agree. He is an extremely strong pick, and I can definitely see that without those LDs, you know, Wusa started to take a backseat a little bit because of the amount of people getting some LDs, right? And then, you know, without those LD5s, we see Wusa really shiny again. Yeah, for sure. And um, I, 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 I got to give it to, uh, give it to our top, our top four there did really well in their drafts, adjusting. Those were fun matches to watch. Uh, and I look forward to doing it again. This was oh. fun. 100%. I think this was a lot of fun. Guys, let me know in chat if this is something you enjoyed and something you'd like to see more of here. Um, and we will definitely try to put out for you guys as much as possible. Jeff coming in with some more stats that we can try to wrap this up. We with. love Jeff. But before Jeff goes off, make sure you like and subscribe, guys, to Indeed. Topher's YouTube channel because we love to like and subscribe. Shameless and plug. ring Not the bell. By Not by me, though. Just uh, like Ophelia. and subscribe. Ophelia picked 93% of matches. Uh, definitely not a good unit. Uh, I don't recommend summoning no, an Ophelia's banner. banner. Um, just don't bother. It's really not worth it. She's not very good. Uh, we do want to thank everybody for jumping in and watching the stream, watching the RGB tournament. Uh, we definitely hope to do more of this in the future. If you liked sort of the style that we did with this tournament with RGBs only, make sure to let us know uh, in the comments so that way we can do more of these kind of things in the future. Uh, if you liked the casting team between Topher Smurf and Agent, make sure to let us know in the chat and we will continue to bring Agent back uh, for some more streams uh, in the future. We love Agent. Um, uh, last thing is is the team that is Jeff. We want to thank all the members, uh, Zhao, Enoops, Nix, and everybody else that helped uh, putting together this uh, tournament. It was a lot of fun to put together. Uh, we hope to do more in the future. Um, that's really it. Anything last thoughts, Agent? No, this was this was fun. Uh, definitely got to do it again. Definitely got to do uh, different styles, different rules. Uh, yeah, four-star tournaments, you know, four all star, that Four-star, kind of LD only, you know, those types of things, just for fun. Indeed. Well, this is the first of many things like this to come. So we're going to try to bring as much content as we can to you guys of this sort of style. I think this is the content that's going to keep the game alive. And I want to continue to provide that for you guys. So if you guys like stuff, make sure to like the stream. Make sure to subscribe. I'll do my shameful, uh, shameless plug uh, now. We appreciate everybody for hanging out. Um, as usual, guys, I will see you in either the next live stream or the next video. Peace out, guys. Peace out.